What I'd love to hear from you and love to hear articulated are some of the very angry voices that think I'm wrong, that believe I am wrong for saying the things I've said, that think I'm wrong for saying, yes, our country is a little cowed. Our country is a little sad. Not because of this one incident. Not because of this one horrible man who mowed down individuals, mowed down a mother on her way to pick up her children, two children, 11 and 8, just like my own girls. You know, girls waiting at school for their mum just to come round the corner, getting their spelling books, getting their PE kits, rounding up their blazers, sorting themselves out to go out and meet their mum, who never came. And you tell me you carry on. You tell me we're united. You put up there, Philip Schofield, that as an act of defiance, you walked across Westminster Bridge. You are pathetic. You are pathetic. You walked across a bridge. You walked down a pavement, down snow. You took a video on your way to work showing pictures of pretty flowers. No, you are not brave. You are not united. You are cowed. You happen to think that that's the new normal. You happen to think cracking on like you did yesterday somehow shows that you are fighting back, that you are resilient. That is not good enough. The terrorists in this country have made it so that you now believe walking down a pavement is brave. You now believe doing the things you always did is somehow resilient. You now believe just because you're still continent, what you're still doubly continent, does that make you not cowed? Does that make us united? No, it does not. This country is not united. You can stand there, just outside this building. You can see how cross I am. I'm really, really cross in Leicester Square. You stand there in Trafalgar Square with your little tea lights. You stand there with your hashtags. You stand there and make hearts up to the heavens. Because you know what ants do when a few of them are stood on? The rest crack on like normal and wait for the next footstep to fall. My challenge to you is that's exactly what we're doing as a society. We're carrying on. We are in denial. Now, if you think that makes you not cowed, I say you're the fool. Whether it's better or worse that the attacker, the terrorist, Khalid Massoud, was British. It seems to me, do correct me if I'm wrong, the Liberals, our Richmond massive, seem to think it's something of a triumph that he's British. They seem to think it's something of a win. And I don't, uh, there's something not very nice in there. They seem to think it's a sort of, they're sort of pleased he's British because then at least he's not a migrant. So that means Brexiteers are wrong. Is that where they're going? Why are Liberals pleased he's British? People must think, people think I must be cross that he's British because he's not a migrant and I'm a massive racist and a xenophobe. So therefore it doesn't fit with my narrative. Uh, no, on the contrary. I find it deeply distressing that we are describing he's him as British. He is no Brit.